Well, you'll never get over it. Ever? Ever, no. Uh, and you'll never stop dreaming and thinking if only. Um, but at the end of the day, for your own sanity and your families, you, you have to put it behind you. And I think that the beauty about Steve coming from Crystal Palace to offer me the job got me over that yeah. massive, massive, dear, dark, dark moment, like you mean. And uh, how, dark, how dark was it? Extremely, I think that, um, but for family, it, it was very difficult to get to get through that period of time. And coming out the other end with everybody knowing that I hadn't really done anything wrong was was some relief, you know, because at the end of the day, I hadn't broken any rules, I hadn't tried to break any rules. Um, I wasn't involved in any corruption whatsoever, um, but I was, was told, or the Telegraph told everybody I was. Mm. And I wasn't. You're badly treated then in that respect. Oh, terribly, because it wasn't right, because the story wasn't right, and they had to publish the incorrection that they'd actually incorrectly put the story out by changing some of the words that I'd said on tape into the story that said I did break third-party rules and I didn't. So even at the even the FA in the House of Commons said I didn't break any rules, but the damage was done then, Chris. Mm. You know, in this country, you're guilty until proven innocent. And, and I think the FA's quick reaction, and I really don't want to talk about this too long, made it worse, made me look even more guilty than I actually was, like, you know, so... Why? Was, because they made it... It was done in less than 24 hours. There was no, there was no judgment, there was no chance of defending myself. It was done, Dustin. But you know, and you would admit probably some of the stuff you said was maybe naive or... Yeah, it wasn't right. Stupid it wasn't good. To do. It wasn't. So it wasn't right. It was, you know, some of it was inappropriate. Yes, but somebody's filming you in a private conversation, and uh, and and then making out that you've done so so much damage to the game, you know, talking about you know the slavery of football, the corruption of football, and you've got no. It, it, there's no, there's no proof that that was the case. It was completely opposite. And when you talk about the sort of the darkness in the days afterwards, is it? Is it because of what happened to you? Is it because of how you allowed yourself to act, or is it just a combination of everything that created that that darkness? I think that uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to say. I mean, you know, it's, we're all great in hindsight. Mm. You know what I mean, you know, in the end of the day, you know, I, I had what considered to be just an innocent meeting with somebody I knew I was trying to help who was down on his luck and. It ended up with the fact of the matter that I was the biggest main turn to the story because it was in the money. Was it, was it right to go there looking back on it? No, it was the wrong thing to do. I should have stayed away from it, but it happened. So, but the, other people could have been, you know, uh, uh, much more judgmental had they given it a bit of time or give me a chance to defend myself. Because if I got a chance to defend myself, I truly believe I could have still been England manager. Really? Yes, I'd have made a mistake and said, look, slap me on the wrist. I shouldn't have done or said some of the things I said, but I haven't broken any rules. I haven't made things, you know, intenable, in, so I can't work and do the job I want to do. And the, the FA invested a lot of time in me. I wasn't going to invest a lot of time in them. It's a dream, the dream job, like you mean, you know, the dream, the dream job comes along. Um, having had spent so long in football, coming from non-league football all through the divisions to get where you go and then to consider me the best man for the job at the time. And at least I have been it, no. Mm, at least I said I made it. 100% win record made as well. it, yeah. Okay. Um, could you watch England after that? Not, not for a while. Um, it was too difficult to watch uh, for a while. But building up to the World Cup, I get to watch, you know, a little bit more and more and then uh, watched uh, all the way through the World Cup, the games. What did you think of the work that Gareth did and the players? Oh, I thought we had a fabulous chance to get to the final for, for a long period of time based on, one, the way the players were playing, the camaraderie and the spirit the players seemed to show, and two, it was the easy, easiest route to a World Cup final, you know, you could, you could imagine, I think, and uh, unfortunately, 20 minutes to go at 1-0 up, we didn't quite see it out, which, you know, cost us that opportunity. The rest was, was very, very good. I Did it they... almost make it more painful because Gareth was managing this brilliant crop of young, talented footballers and was getting a great tune out of not, them? Not really, no, because, uh, you know, I'm not sure I would have played that system or picked all those players. What would you have done differently? So, I don't know, because I, I, wasn't, I wouldn't be... 
I wouldn't be capable of answering that because I would be right up to speed with who I think were the best teams, best team or best squad to pick for the World Cup because I'd have been watching it all the way through and having them on my my international duty times to say this is how we look and this is how we're going to play and this is the sort of squad I'd want to want to take with me. So uh, Gareth, in in his term, him and Steve uh, did a fantastic job, picked some the right players, played the right system for, for perhaps a vast majority of it um, and got a huge away that I think nobody really expected when we first started. Whether it was an easy route or not, they did it and they were only 20 minutes away from from getting to the final, but you know it was still a big boost for not just England and the youngsters, but also the England fans, I think.